this uh, webinar uh, is uh, for uh, because of this uh, current prevailing situation uh, we all have to work from home and uh, do whatever we can uh, online so uh, as a solution to uh, have meetings and have uh, lectures and all kind of uh, communication between other community uh, people so we uh, uh, you, uh, we can use uh, uh, some sort of uh, with, uh, conferencing platform. So, so Learn has selected uh, Zoom some time ago. So uh, that is uh, the reason uh, for us to uh, have this webinar. So uh, what we are going to do here today is we are going to give you uh, uh, some detail about uh, Zoom as well as the, uh, the requirement uh, for you to have to access this facility. So uh, uh, let me uh, share my presentation, a uh, small presentation. Hope uh, everybody can see this. Uh, so uh, Zoom for uh, research and education. Uh, so you can get uh, uh, detail about this uh, uh, webinar at this particular URL. Uh, also, you can find the documentation to how to use Zoom. Uh, so, uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, uh, I'm uh, Sanavi Herat, the Network System Manager of LEARN. So, uh, the, my uh, role is actually quite different, uh, rather conducting uh, webinars, nothing like that, uh, conducting how to use applications. So, so I'm as a man, network manager, so it's uh, some kind of uh, network administration, system administration parts. So anyway, uh, due to the situation, so we have to somehow get those things done. That is why I am here. So at the same time, uh, let me introduce, I have my colleagues online, uh, Mr. Tilana Patirana, who is the tech engineer of LEARN, and also Mr. Uh, Damika Lalanta is the network engineer of LAN. Uh, they, uh, they are in this webinar as a panelist, so you can ask questions, they will be uh, answering to them. So uh, let me uh, talk about uh, LEARN a little bit. Uh, so uh, LEARN, uh, Uh, your ISP. So, so you have many ISP. For example, so if you are using uh, internet facility or some other facility, communication facility, you have ISP. So, Learn is ISP, Internet Service Provider, for research, education, research and education of Sri Lanka. So, it has been quite long time. Uh, uh, so, uh, our main uh, Learn main. Uh, business is providing uh, internet access. Uh, so mainly uh, the difference between the other ISP and the LEARN is, uh, LEARN is providing uh, uh, some additional, uh, more additional services specifically for, uh, specifically needed for research and education uh, other than the uh, other ISP country. So for example, uh, uh, just not only provide the uh, learn, just not only provide internet, commodity internet access, but also it provide uh, uh, high bandwidth, uh, uh, fast uh, connectivity to others, other research and education uh, in the world. So that is one of the uh, uh, key additional uh, service provided by learn other than the local ISP. So not only that uh, services, some services needed for research and education, so that is one of the main uh, target of uh, learn. So for example, uh, services like Eduro, uh, where you need to access wireless access uh, when you're not uh, in your home institution. So when you go out to some other location, maybe some public location, maybe some other university, other university in some other country. So the facility called Eduroam can be used to connect to their wireless network by using your home credentials. You don't have to ask credential from them. 
So you can use home credentials to access their networks. That is one of the service offered by the LAN. The Identity Access Federation, uh, Identity Access Management is one of the service. I will uh, come back to that later. So also we have some other services called Edu VPN, uh, where you can get uh, VPN connect connectivity to LAN. Uh, when you want to have some security, uh, secure channel to have some sort of communication. So uh, those type of services at the moment are available with Learn in, a, uh, in comparing to other service providers in Sri Lanka. But also we can also thinking about some other services like uh, providing centralized LMS service so that uh, you don't have to maintain your own LMS service inside your institute. You can use central uh, LMS service so that you can easily uh, manage your academic activity. So that type of service we can offer in future. So that is the main, the main difference between Learn and other ISPs in the country. So uh, let me uh, continue with the presentation. So uh, what we are going to do is today uh, we are going to uh, tell you how to uh, use Zoom and also the requirement for you to have uh, when you access in Zoom. Uh, let me introduce Zoom. Uh, Zoom is uh, uh, a kind of remote conferencing services. So you have seen many services like uh, Zoom in, uh, early, uh, maybe uh, Cisco Webex, uh, maybe some other service, uh, Skype and all those other uh, social media platforms as well. So you can use Sumo is one of the famous uh, and also uh, famous and also uh, feature rich uh, 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 video conferencing platform uh, where you can use for your day-to-day -day meeting or you can use it for conducting lectures and all kind of uh, uh, many kind of uh, communication activities. So uh, in Zoom, uh, everything in Zoom cloud. Uh, so you don't have to set up uh, in your campus. Uh, you don't have to set up anything in your campus. So it is in cloud. So it is cloud-based uh, conference in service. You just need to have a, uh, a small application installed in your laptop or smartphone. You don't have to worry about to install that early, but uh, the first time you are going to connect to the uh, Zoom meeting, so it will ask you to install the app uh, in the uh, your smartphone or laptop. It will take uh, uh, just less than a minute to install it. That is only the requirement you have to have. So you have to have uh, uh, some sort of uh, network connectivity. It can be uh, maybe uh, maybe ADSL or if you are working from home, it can be ADSL, it can be 3G or it can be 4G. Uh, you can use uh, Zoom uh, in uh, that type of connectivity, connectivity too. You don't have to come into the institute. You can use it from anywhere. So uh, the service, uh, this Zoom uh, can be used any platform. It can be used in Windows, it can be used uh, in Mac OS, uh, if you have a Mac computer, or it can be uh, in Android uh, or iOS in any smartphone. So uh, so the other thing is uh, quite important, uh, Zoom is not free. So that has to be concerned. So, so uh, it is not free. You have to pay for, uh, for Zoom. You don't have to pay for learn, but you have to, if you want to have, use Zoom for your professional activities, uh, you have to pay for Zoom. So that is the key point. Uh, so you can have free uh, Zoom account uh, with limited features. For example, if you have a free account, you can use meeting up to 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, it will be disconnected. So even now, even if you start it after the 40 minutes, you will not get a better quality. So you have to have a Zoom, uh, you have to have pay for Zoom, you have to purchase Zoom license to use it. So uh, with that, uh, so what Learn is doing is, uh, we are going to uh, provide you Zoom license. Uh, so Learn is going to pay for you. So everybody, so everybody in Learn Member Institute, uh, every staff member, is Every staff member, it can be academic or it can be administrative staff, those who support, suppose, uh, academic staff, everybody can have, uh, can get Zoom uh, educational pro, pro license. Uh, I will tell you later how it costs, uh, how it costs, uh, you will get uh, pro license from Learn. Uh, with that, uh, 
Zoom lives, uh, you can host uh, or schedule uh, meetings yourself. You don't have to ask somebody else to host uh, host a meeting for you. You can host a meeting yourself. So today we are going to show you how to do that. Uh, so uh, you can uh, join any now any guest. So you, guests don't have to uh, need not to have uh, Zoom accounts. So you can uh, invite any guest uh, or any kind of communication method. It can be over email or it can be over social media or whatever. So you can uh, invite. You can send the meeting ID or send the URL to your guest. Uh, you can get any guests connected. They don't have to have uh, Zoom accounts. Uh, so uh, you will get this uh, Zoom educational pro license from Learn uh, free of charge. You don't have to pay. Learn is going to pay for you. So that is uh, the uh, important point here. So uh, one uh, thing we have to concern about that. Uh, so you should use it for research and education, not for your any other business. Uh, that is the policies uh, yet to be laid, but anyway, uh, it has to be some fair use of policy, so you can use it for research and education. You cannot, you may not be, uh, you can, you may not be allowed to uh, use it for uh, some private businesses. So, uh, so some, one might ask how we can detect that. So, uh, so uh, complete auditing can be done in some system. Uh, who are connected? Who are having meetings? Uh, what are the meetings? What are the time duration? Who are connected to those meetings? All those details can be available. So auditing can be done. So we have not restricted anything, but if uh, if if it is going to uh, be totally misused, uh, someone can come and audit the system to see what's going on. So it is for uh, genuine use of research and education. Uh, so. Uh, the next important thing is uh, uh, Learn is going to provide you license. Now, how it is going to happen? So that is the important thing. So uh, provide you license means you will uh, be provided a Zoom account, uh, credential to access Zoom, username and password. Now, the next question is who is going to provide, it, uh, provide you? Actually, Learn is not going to provide you. It is going to be provided by your institution itself. The main reason is that we don't know about you. We, uh, so there are thousands of people, thousands of staff members around the country, learn members. So uh, uh, learn members. Uh, so uh, we, we will not be able to handle them. We don't know. We have to get the requests and we have to get them validated through the institute and all those kind of things we are doing. So therefore, uh, we are not managing uh, 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 handling Zoom account from Learn. So it will be provided by your institution itself. So, uh, so let me explain how it works. Uh, so if your institute, uh, give me a second. Hello. Oh. All right. Okay. Uh. All right. Okay. Now give me a second.
Okay, uh, this webinar is going to uh, li uh, live stream on YouTube, uh, so people can watch it on YouTube as well. So uh, let me start uh, from uh, where we stop. Uh, uh, so uh, what we said was, uh, you have to get the account uh, from the institute itself. Uh, you have to uh, uh, talk to your system administrator or identity administrator. Uh, Uh, otherwise, someone responsible for that uh, particular service, IT services in your campus. So, uh, if your campus uh, uh, to be able to provide uh, Zoom accounts, uh, this uh, uh, federated uh, identity account, uh, so your, your institute has to be a member of uh, uh, LEA, Learn Identity Access Federation. So. Uh, so anyway, they remember every uh, learn members have to become a LIAF member to uh, get uh, this uh, uh, facility enabled. So there's a little bit of work uh, the institute has to do. They have to have uh, so I mean uh, so institute institute is still going to provide the username and password credential. They have to have some sort of database. Uh, so they have to build that database uh, according to the given standard line guideline. Those guide lines has already uh, laid down so we have conducted many uh, workshops uh, how to do that have all kind of uh, material on the web so so people have to follow those steps uh, to uh, set up the, their identity database once the institute set up the identity database they can uh, provide uh, uh, user accounts zoom accounts to, uh, to their uh, their staff so that is how uh, you should uh, uh, go. Uh, uh, let us discuss about uh, what are the uh, uh, features of uh, this uh, educational pro license. Uh, uh, to get the uh, Zoom account from your institute, uh, you can schedule meeting yourselves. Uh, you can uh, have a, you host a one meeting at a time. So you can schedule one meeting at a time. You can have one meeting at a time. You don't. You cannot have many meetings. Uh, you cannot share the account for everybody to have many meetings. So it cannot be done. You can have one meeting at a time. So for each meeting, uh, you can connect up to uh, uh, three hundred uh, participants. Uh, uh, there's no time restriction. So it can be few hours. It can be twenty four hours. There's no time restriction. Uh, optionally, uh, if you uh, sometime, uh, if you are going to have some conduct some lectures where you have a lot of uh, students, uh, maybe more than 300, there's option that we can enable for you to have large meetings up to 500 participants. So we cannot enable it to uh, it, uh, to everybody for a selected participant. For example, we can give few accounts to each and every institute to have large meetings, uh, meetings up to have part, uh, 500 participants. So uh, this feature include uh, you can share screen like what I'm doing. You can have annotations. Uh, um, uh, you can do an uh, so you know what this is sharing is. I have already shared my uh, presentation screen. You can share any any window in your uh, laptop. You can share your entire laptop. You can share one of the window. You can share the terminal if you are demonstrating something how to configure or something if you are it guy so uh, you can share any 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 window uh, any uh, window in your laptop also you can do uh, annotation something like that uh, i don't know whether you can see this uh, uh, but anyway uh, i will show it later uh, you can do annotations uh, for example uh, i can draw something on this presentation that is annotation. Or I can uh, type some test uh, on top of this uh, presentation. Or I can um, do some spotlight mark like that. So you can do the type of things that is uh, annotation. Uh, so waiting room, uh, uh, the facility that is uh, where you can uh, enable waiting room when you create a meeting, uh, you can enable the waiting room 
then uh, people want allow your guests want allow directly connected to the meeting so they will be uh, connected to the waiting room you have to get uh, uh, your attendees one by one to the meeting so that is what waiting room is so re recording uh, you can record your uh, you can record your any uh, uh, meetings uh, any lecture uh, going on zoom you can record uh, on your local computer otherwise you can record on your cloud company that uh, cloud uh, on the cloud but we have to enable the cloud uh, later so at the moment you can record it uh, in your uh, local computer So uh, the another feature called uh, polling, you can post uh, questions, uh, uh, multiple choice questions, questions, uh, uh, so that uh, uh, participants can uh, online uh, directly answers uh, answer. Uh, so you can uh, get the result of how many people answer those uh, questions and how many response to those choices. So that is what polling is. The breakout room is something. Uh, where uh, when you have, want to have a group discussion. So for example, if you have a meeting like this, so you want to have a, uh, you want to break the uh, meeting room into uh, using the feature called breakout room. So once you did that, uh, people, you can place uh, the attendees into each and every breakout rooms. Uh, so they can discuss uh, between them. So uh, privately discuss in their room. So you can, as a host, you has you as a host, you can join into any room and discuss with them. That is what breakout room is. So at the same time, uh, you can have uh, Zoom integrated into your Moodle system, your LMS. Uh, so uh, there's a feature for that one as well. So once you once you have once to set up uh, Zoom access, uh, you can enable uh, Zoom integration. Uh, in LMS, uh, that has to be done by the Moodle administrator. So Moodle administrator can contact us and uh, get the required uh, um, secret uh, API keys and all that uh, to set up the uh, Moodle. So once the administrators administrator set up the Moodle, so uh, the Moodle uh, uh, users, uh, teachers can uh, use the facility inside the model. They can use the model activity facility to add the uh, Zoom meeting inside their course. So that is what uh, model integration. So uh, also uh, the call webinar. So something uh, webinar is some additional features uh, feature of uh, Zoom uh, that need uh, additional license, which a uh, little bit uh, expensive than Zoom Education Pro license. Uh, uh, if you get those uh, webinar license, you can have larger uh, meetings uh, like this. The, the, uh, the main difference between the normal meeting and the webinar is uh, webinar don't allow participant to display their video or allow to talk. Uh, but in a meeting, everybody can uh, display their video and talk each other. But in a webinar, uh, participants will not be allowed. Uh, this is actually what we are having in So, if participants want to raise a question, they have to raise the question. And uh, 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 yes, but uh, yes, we yet to agree for the uh, Zoom meet, Zoom data. So that is uh, there is one challenge. So people have to pay for data when they are going to have meeting. Uh, but uh, what we want to uh, understand is uh, if you look at this uh, particular Zoom website, it will tell you how the uh, Zoom uh, uh, use the bandwidth.
how much data is going to be used for a Zoom meeting. So then you can uh, work out with your, uh, with your current package how it costs. Uh, for example, uh, if you are going to, uh, so if you look at this website uh, web page, you can have an idea about how each uh, type of meeting. So meeting can be this way. So at the moment, I am presenting something, my video as a thumbnail, small thumbnail. Uh, thumbnail. But uh, it can be sometime it is, there's no presentation, sharing window is only the video. So that will consume different bandwidth. But if you are doing this type of thing, so you will, uh, for example, if you, you are going to have a lecture, you will initially talk one or two minutes uh, having full video, then you will change the presentation. So the participant will get uh, the video uh, in the thumbnail and the uh, the large screen, as the uh, shared screen, that's your presentation. In that time, especially in that time, the bandwidth consumption. If you look at this web page, also you, if you monitor your 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 package, your 4G or whatever there is, it is package uh, utilization. So uh, it, it is also it is according to the document and this documentation as well as the, uh, the live data. So it is it can be around uh, 250 kilobit per second. So uh, let's say maximum, let, let consider the maximum 150 kilobit per second. It means when you are sharing screen with your video. So uh, that will consume uh, four hour if you are going to have a one hour lecture. So it will consume uh, uh, around, uh, if you calculate, just uh, multiply it by 64, one minute, 64, an hour, and divide by eight to make it uh, megabit this is in megabit uh, this is in kilobit per second uh, we have to make it byte so we have divided by eight so that then this is the amount of data uh, need to transfer uh, during one hour period 67.5 so if you work out with your package what you pay for the isp so for this amount of data it can be around something around for me it is around eight uh, eight rupees eight rupees for one hour so uh, so that is the, uh, the the cost of the one hour meeting one if one have to participate or one have to conduct a meeting so that is the cost data cost that can be the cost so that's going to be a uh, very little bit not much little bit based on your package so you can calculate uh, how it is going to cost. So uh, this is, uh, for me actually, this is not that much. So so if you want to go to the institute, uh, it can be cost, uh, cost much more than that. So even for students, they have to use uh, the transport, transport cost and other cost compare it with that one. So that is not good. So even it's not even free. So I just want to point out that uh, that is not uh, that my cost. So uh, in that case, you have to make sure that you don't uh, you are not going to have a long time video uh, your video. So if that is going to be the case uh, that will consume a little bit more bandwidth and it's going to be cost more. So uh, let me uh, go into uh, some of the statistics uh, soon after this. Uh, Incidents, uh, uh, prevalence situation uh, uh, raises how people uh, start uh, using Zoom for the activities. Uh, so this is from uh, uh, March uh, last month. We started. So it starts, people started using it. Sometime uh, in some days there there are around three hundred meetings sometimes over 400 meetings. So that is uh, quite a bit of usage. We can see people uh, uh, started using more and more. Uh, people, some people are conducting lectures. Uh, I, we have seen that uh, maybe sometimes 300 participants per meeting. Uh, the max, they have got the maximum participant as well. So uh, that is how uh, Zoom is being used uh, up to today. So that is the, basically the meeting, uh, how meeting, uh, uh, number of meeting in each day. So if you look at the participants, uh, uh, thousand and thousand participants join into those meetings. So in April, April 3rd, we have seen 9,700 participants uh, during the day. So that is uh, quite good, but 
we have a lot of students so that has to be quite a lot more if everybody going to do this so so that is how uh, zoom uh, usage uh, study please so other thing i want to mention is that uh, uh, zoom uh, is not free uh, you can use it uh, your own course otherwise someone has to pay for you so learn is going to pay for you not only that so learn has to uh, learn has to provide some sort of uh, infrastructure the bandwidth uh, and also some compute and storage facilities to uh, host this uh, zoom uh, facility inside the learn uh, uh, network uh, for learn on premise deployments that is uh, the technology cost much so uh the entire thing uh, was a lot uh, that is expensive so therefore it is our responsibility uh, to uh, uh, make it uh, uh, optimize so we have to make sure that if we are going to conduct a uh, meeting so we should uh, after the meeting soon after the meeting we should uh, uh, end the meeting we should end the meeting for all participants not only for the host but also the all parts we have to end the meeting so then we can free up the resources for others also uh, 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 as a user as per user policy uh, uh, we should not uh, uh, use the facility for some other private thing uh, uh, so people can use it for any other things but but uh, we should make sure that we will use for the research and education official matters of uh, your campus so then uh, also we can uh, optimize the uh, usage so that uh, we can uh, utilize the resources uh, we have placed uh, also the cost we have to uh, bear uh, we, we can minimize that so that uh, we can have a fine service so uh, you everybody understand that uh, you will support uh, to do that so uh, with that uh, let me uh, share uh, your browser to show you uh, about uh, 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 this is zoom uh, basically zoom uh, website uh, you can visit it at uh, zoom.us uh, So other thing uh, we have to keep in mind that uh, there are a couple of uh, video conferencing platform like Zoom. Uh, Zoom is one of the one of the most popular. another. There can be many. So uh, Learn is not going to promote Zoom, uh, work for Zoom, but also we have to have some sort of platform since uh, this is uh, selected by most of the. Uh, uh, international research and education community uh, we have already uh, we have decided to go for same uh, so there's no any other reason for we have to promote zoom on behalf of zoom this is uh, we are promoting zoom on behalf of uh, research and education uh, in sri lanka uh, so if you look at this pricing uh, let me uh, demonstrate it a little bit uh, you go to the pricing page uh, uh, you can see the Zoom plans. You can go for. Uh, it is quite a slow access of internet uh, because I'm using uh, Dialog 4G. Uh, so having these meetings and also open some windows all and all. yeah so uh, you can have a basic account that is free just there are a lot of limitation one main limitation is you can have up to 40 minute uh, meetings after the 40 minute it will be automatically dis disconnected so uh, then the pro plan uh, you have to pay uh, 500 dollars per month uh, sorry 15 dollars per month and uh, business plan 20 dollars per month the uh, the plan we have provided to you that is educational pro plan is in between this uh, i might say it is more close to business plan it can uh, include uh, it is it include 300 participants and all other features therefore it's more close to this business plan so uh, 
So uh, we hope that you make you for, uh, use of the facility. So that's quite expensive for us actually. People like Sri Lanka, that is going to be quite expensive. Uh, $20 per month, uh, 20 to 12 per year. So that is quite a lot of money. Uh, so that is about uh, Zoom price. So uh, with that, let me uh, start stating how to uh, uh, use Zoom. Uh, uh, I'm not sure you have seen that. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is about uh, the pricing. Uh, I'm not sure you have seen that. Uh, so uh, pre plan and pro plan, business plan, the plan we are providing that is educational pro plan is uh, quite uh, close to the business plan. Uh, has also the features in business plan. So it's about pricing, uh, let me uh, demonstrate how to use so uh, the basic uh, guideline for using so so uh, if you look at our website uh, the web page about this uh, event uh, we have put some agenda for you to look at uh, how you can uh, use the so it will provide you uh, uh, almost all the required documentation how to sign into zoom how to schedule a meeting how to join to a meeting and how to have personal meeting room, screen sharing, recording, uh, Moodle integration, and all that. So, uh, let me share another window. Uh, I'm going to get the support of another computer located in somewhere else. Uh, to demonstrate this uh, because I, I i'm not be able to demonstrate the zoom using zoom so that is going to be difficult so Right, let me share another computer. Right, this is another Mac computer. So I'm going to demonstrate uh, how to use Zoom uh, by using this computer. So uh, see, uh, you you got somehow uh, your Zoom account. If you got a Zoom account, what you have to do is you have to go to the uh, web browser. You have to access the, uh, uh, you can go to the website uh, uh, learnac.lk and go to the uh, video conferencing. Uh, there you can find the link. Uh, that is, the uh, link is uh, zoom learn, uh, learn dot, uh, uh, let me try to zoom out a little bit. Zoom in. Right. That page you can find the link. Dot uh, us. Otherwise, you can directly type uh, learn dot zoom dot us uh, learn dot zoom dot us as for us. So then you will end up with this stream. That is your zoom uh, landing page, home page for example. So there, uh, if you're going to join to a meeting, if you know the join URL or a meeting, you can join your name ID and you can join to a meeting. If you're going to host a meeting, schedule a meeting, you can click on host. If you're using, if you're going to do something or if you're first time I'm going to use Zoom, you can sign in and uh, you can log into the Zoom web, web portal. Let's, uh, let's try to log into Zoom web pro, uh, portal using sign in. So then you will end up, once you click on the sign in, you will end up with this page. This is what uh, Learn Identity Access Federation, where you have to select your institute first.
Oh. Do some screen sharing issue. I cannot see the list. Okay. Uh, let me try with the new. So it should be easy this uh, because I'm sharing my uh, some of the computer screen. Let me try it in the, uh, another browser. Land.sum.us. Yes. Uh, now you can see, allow me to pick uh, from the list. Now you have to select the institute. Now uh, you can see the institute. Uh, so you were, so before you see the institute should be listed here. If it is not listed, the reason for that is uh, your institute, institute yet to uh, uh, implement their identity database and yet to connect to the Learn Identity Access Federation. So if it's already connected, you should uh, see your institute in the list. So in my case, I am from Learn. Let me select Learn. So then you can continue. Click on Continue. So uh, they. Uh, this page is serving the UAM Institute, not from Learn or not from Zoom. So this is this is by your own institute. If you have set up, uh, your institute has set up uh, a identity access management identity database in your institute. Uh, uh, from that, uh, this page will pop up. So then uh, you can type your username. Let me give some uh, test username. In your password. Uh, then you can click on login. So I have given the wrong, uh, the wrong test. Let me try it again. Yeah has taken uh, I don't have to save it uh, so uh, once you log in when you give your username and password credentials you will end up with your uh, profile page this is what this web portal is uh, so where you can uh, do whatever uh, meeting scheduling uh, whatever thing where yeah, what you think you have to do with it so so uh, this first page is where you are you will be end up with this uh, profile page where you can edit your profile so you can include your picture here uh, you can change the picture you can do some uh, your image uh, also you can edit uh, uh, information here you can give your name and other information if you like uh, and that is where uh, that is what the profile page and then uh, if you have to uh, schedule a meeting uh, you can click on meeting then uh, before uh, schedule a meeting, let me talk about this uh, personal meeting room. Uh, you can click on the personal meeting room uh, where you can uh, uh, see the personal meeting room detail, uh, details. So you can edit this uh, page uh, if you like, uh, and you can make some changes uh, as you wish. So for example, you can change the uh, personal meeting ID. So if you like to use your phone number, for example, you should be able to change it to your phone number. Remember, you cannot put uh, any zeros uh, in front, uh, but you already delete the zero mark uh, and you can use the phone number if, if you like. So you can use uh, whatever you like for the personal meeting ID. So uh, also you can enable some of the options uh, if you like, you can enable the waiting room, uh, you can enable the join before the host or something like that. So I'll discuss little, uh, them later. So that is about the personal meeting room. I will uh, discuss a little more about the personal meeting room later. So uh, again, uh, in meetings, uh, if you want to uh, schedule a meeting, uh, what you can you do is you can click on schedule a meeting. So there, you have to enter your uh, uh, meeting title topic that is quite important so uh, you should enter 
some some title uh, which should clearly explain uh, your the purpose of the meeting so you cannot keep uh, you can keep it meeting my uh, as maybe my meeting or some personal meeting or something like that but it shouldn't it should meet uh, it should uh, mean something so for example if you are going to going to conduct a lecture uh, for example lecture uh, c302 um which is uh, 302 maybe the university of pera delhi uh, faculty of uh, uh, of engineering something like that so this title should be able to uh, read uh, somehow uh, we, people should be we should be able to understand what it is so reason why because uh, when you uh, when you are going to maintain the system optimize uh, so we have to uh, we have to look at what is going on if someone uh, hosting meetings uh, without this type of clear titles and descriptions so we cannot identify what it is so if the system going busy we have to disconnect them so there's no me uh, if they have uh, not given any uh, meaningful title uh, for meeting so also you can if you like you can add long description about the meeting so so the zoom administrators or whatever the uh, authorities of so uh, learns uh, maybe ug side maybe learn side authority should be able to identify what is going on so otherwise uh, uh, someone might disconnect your meeting uh, so you won't be able to have the meeting for uh, continue to have the meeting so therefore this is quite important uh, add some uh, uh, useful uh, meaning for the meeting uh, for this time for this let me take a minute maybe now right then uh, you have to select uh, when you when you when you want to have the meeting so it can be start now it can be start later on the calendar you can select the uh, date and time then you have to select the number of hours or number of minutes you have to have uh, one hour and 15 minutes so then you can select the time zone so this time zone is uh, time zone is correct for Sri Lanka. so you cannot find but it is 5 uh, 5 30 that is correct so if that is this meeting going to be recurring maybe every day or every week uh, so you can click on this recurring meeting option so uh, if this meeting requires registration participant needs to register before coming to the meeting so you can click on the register so uh, uh, if you want to use you want to a personal meeting id for this particular meeting uh, you can select this option use uh, personal meeting id so if you want to have a password for this meeting uh, we recommend to have a password because uh, anybody can connect to the meeting if, if they got somehow the url or meeting id so anybody can connect to the meeting so therefore it's better to have a password if you're going to have a put a password don't share the password name email of the uh, invitation so that can be leaked to the outside so therefore you can send the invitation by email and send the password by some other means maybe over sms or maybe over some other whatsapp or whatever it is so don't do the uh, don't share the password in the same mail if you're going to send uh, send the password in the same mail so you have to send it uh, separately in a different mail so you can send the password in, uh, in maybe um, by portion first one portion first and the second portion in the second mail or something like that so so it should you should not mention uh, inside the mail or title of the mail if you are going to share the password or the mail you should not give about the word password if you mention that to uh, my in the channel like uh, uh, get the password so you should uh, uh, get some you should uh, care about uh, send the password or the email so then uh, if you are going to uh, allow uh, uh, video to on uh, you can allow it uh, on uh, when this when starting the meeting you can keep it on especially if it's important to have the uh, uh, there is about the uh, the host and also the participants but uh, you can allow participants to keep the video on or off uh, you can keep it off this by default it is off also this is about audio so you can uh, select whatever the option uh, so uh, audio options computer audio board so then uh, there are some meeting options uh, you can enable this option uh, 
I'm not sure that you can uh, see this clearly. Let me increase the font size a little bit. Uh, you can enable uh, uh, you can enable this option if you want to enable join your participant before you start the meeting. So you can enable. So meeting will be uh, started and participant can join before you join to the meeting. So uh, this is a quite important option. Uh, it is better to mute the participants because if you don't uh, mute the participants, you will uh, hear a lot of noise echoes. So it is better to uh, uh, keep it muted. So then also you can instruct participant to keep the microphone muted uh, when the meeting going on, other, unless otherwise they are talking. So that is to avoid the echo, any echo. So you can enable a waiting room uh, if you like to, uh, uh, not to, uh, if you don't like to allow directly uh, people come into the meeting, so you can enable the waiting room. So then you have to, once you start the meeting, people will come in, come into the waiting room. You have to uh, drag, uh, you have to get the people uh, from waiting room to the, your meeting. So you can enable if you like uh, waiting room. So uh, you can click on this only authorized users can join. Uh, so they are then uh, the people uh, only have Zoom accounts can join. Uh, either they have uh, Zoom free accounts or Zoom uh, uh, raw accounts can join. Those who have uh, Zoom accounts can join. Only those who have Zoom accounts can join, others won't be able. So uh, um, breakout room, you can enable a breakout room and if you want to uh, assign uh, when they are joined to the meeting to the separate room, you can enable this option. So uh, recording the meeting automatically, the local computer, so you can select uh, this option if you want to uh, quickly start. As soon after they start the meeting, it will start recording the meeting on the local computer. So those are the key uh, basic options when you're scheduling the meeting. So then once you did all the changes as required, so you can save the meeting. Now, uh, if you want to quickly start meeting, so you can start the meeting uh, uh, by clicking on the start meeting button. Otherwise, if it is scheduled for some time later, uh, you can see the meeting at the scheduled meeting. Uh, you can see the, all the scheduled meeting in this list. So then, when <laughs> when you come to the times, so you can start the meeting. So let me start this particular meeting right now. Now. Uh, if you are starting a meeting first time, uh, what will happen? Uh, it will go into install a uh, Zoom app. Uh, uh, so uh, on your computer or on your mobile. So you have to answer those questions to allow it to be installed in your computer. Once it's installed, uh, it will open the Zoom app uh, at this stage. Uh, let me try to in my other browser because I have already installed the Zoom app. I was asking to. Uh, so let me log in it again. Edurom, sorry, this is my test username. So uh, if I look at my uh, meetings, uh, I can see my meeting, so I can start it uh, here. So if you want to change something in this meeting, uh, once you have been scheduled, so you can go into the meeting and uh, edit the meeting. So you can click on edit and you can change it. If you want to change the time or if you want to change the title or something, uh, you can change it there. So. Uh, uh, you can, if you want to start the meeting, you can just click on start. Then it will uh, um, allow you to uh, load the Zoom app. Uh, otherwise, it will allow you to install and load it. Uh, in my case, I have already installed it. Uh, then uh, I can click on allow. So. Application. Let me try it again. 
Yes, you see something. So it is not happening. Maybe quite a lot of people are using the Zoom. Okay, I'm sorry, something is going on. Uh, at the same time, uh, let uh, wait some time and try to do it again. So, uh, so let me demonstrate uh, uh, until something clear. Uh, let me demonstrate the Zoom app. So, uh, that is how if you can uh, start a meeting from your Zoom web person. So, at the same time, you can uh, have this uh, Zoom app. Uh, uh, you can run the Zoom app and you can join to a meeting. Uh, for example, if you want to join to this particular webinar, you can give the uh, meeting ID. So you can join, for example, uh, 474-067-733. This is the webinar meeting ID. Join. So we have to give some email. So I have joined to uh, uh, my other computer to uh, maybe now something is happening because something is reflecting. So let me uh, in this meeting as uh, yes, possible. So, so that is how you can use Zoom app to join to a meeting. So otherwise uh, you can use the Zoom app to uh, schedule a meeting. Uh, so to do that, you have to first sign in with the Zoom app. You have to load the Zoom app, uh, Zoom app then and sign in with the uh, SSO. So then you have to type your institute name. In my case, uh, that is in our case, learn, or the institute name, you have to uh, type the learn. So that we are accessing the learn.zoom.us, we have to type the learn, learn.learn.zoom.us and continue. Then uh, you will get into the same uh, uh, login uh, I learn ID access federation uh, then uh, uh, you have to log you have to sign in uh, then uh, that will get the your login page and uh, you have to enter the username and password and get into this uh, page but in my case I have already like logged in that is why uh, my user, uh, so my credentials uh, stored the computer that is why I directly come into this place, otherwise, you have to uh, do the username and password. Uh, right, this is the uh, this is how the Zoom map when you log in into the Zoom. Now, here you can schedule a, a meeting if you want to uh, have a new meeting, you can uh, start, a, you can quickly start a, a meeting here. Otherwise, you can click on a schedule button, you can schedule a meeting. So, that is same like uh, uh, doing in web app, you can also do it at here. Also, if you want to share a screen or something, uh, you can use this one. Also, if you want to join to a meeting, you can click on join uh, button. Also, I want to tell you uh, uh, sometime if you want to have uh, uh, some other controls, uh, you can click on this uh, wheel button uh, on the right top corner. So you can change, see some of those things. You can change your video camera or generating audio, sharing screen, chat, something you can change those settings. Uh, one other quite important thing is the virtual background. So for example, uh, if you are not in a place that your background can be displayed to everybody, for example, for me as well today. So if you're in home, so there is not, can be quite messy. You have to have different 
background uh, with your uh, video so you can select the virtual background so that will then zoom will delete your existing background and will paste in the virtual background so that might sometimes quite useful what i am doing today here too so uh, that is how uh, so map let me quickly try to start a zoom meeting using uh, new meeting button i'm not sure that it's working from Yeah, it will also give the same thing. Uh, um, this, I'm not sure what is the issue with this. Uh, I, the, I have issue with this computer uh, uh, or something like that. Uh, until that, uh, how I can present this, uh, how to use uh, Zoom. Uh, let me stop the sharing. Uh, let me try to share my uh, um, desktop, uh, present desktop. Uh, I think you can see my entire desktop. Uh, so uh, I have share my desktop. Uh, let me check what you can see with my mobile. Yeah, even with that, I can also you all the Zoom uh, controls. Uh, now it is a question how I can how I can share that. Uh, give me a second.
uh, still I'm struggling with the problem. Uh, It look, uh, it look, uh, I got it. Uh. Uh, now you can see uh, the uh, Zoom map. When we start meeting, this is what you can see. So, uh, unfortunately, in this particular computer, don't have a webcam. Therefore, you cannot see the, you can see any video. Uh, so, uh, this is the zoom map so uh, this is the uh, you can see the uh, uh, meeting password and also uh, on top of uh, on top of the uh, screen and the meeting id uh, i would like to invite you to join to this particular meeting uh, let me uh, type the meeting id if you have if you, uh, you don't have to disconnect uh, your laptop you are connecting and connecting from the laptop if you have a different device uh, other than you are connecting for this webinar you can try using that particular device uh, let me share the this test meeting id uh, of the chat window Uh, that is uh, six six double three uh, four eight zero. Six double three four eight zero. Uh, seven six nine. So I have posted on the chat window, so you can try to join. Someone can try to join. Please remember to don't disconnect this session if you have a different device, a smartphone, so you can try from that one. <coughs> a password. Thank you. I have to get the password as well. Uh, password is 05 uh, 3987. The second one is the password. Uh, I can see now, you can see now number of participants are going on, uh, growing up. Uh, uh, if you click at the uh, manage participant uh, uh, button at the lower menu bar, uh, you can get the list of the participants. So. If you are a host, you can unmute all, you can mute all, so you can do some controls. That is the part So uh, remember, I cannot turn on video because I don't have a webcam with this uh, uh, demonstration machine where I, uh, I have located uh, somewhere else, not it, not it, uh, not it that is in my home. So, uh, there is the uh, participant in <coughs> then uh, so uh, on top uh, you can have uh, some buttons uh, for example gallery view where you can see all the uh, participants uh, also if you want to uh, have the speaker view, you can click on the speaker view that is right on top. Uh, uh, you can change the layout as you wish. Uh, so on the top, you can see over the participants, you can just click uh, arrow here and there. Uh, so see the over the participants. So then uh, uh, let me close this participant window. Then the chat window, so you can chat window open the chat window and you can have a chat you can have a chat with everybody everyone otherwise you can select the participant from the drop down list and you can talk to that particular person so let me say hi to everybody 
So that is how you can have a check. So uh, you can see some cases. Also, uh, uh, if you want to share the screen, uh, this is how you can share. So you can click on this uh, uh, share button. And then uh, you can see the all the open window uh, on the desktop. So in my case, I don't have any open window. Let me open this up and open some other window. Let me open the web browser. Mm. Mm. To get something on that, www.sc.lk. Uh, let me share it that. Mm. Share, now you can see the window. Uh, you can select the window. You can either select entire desktop, uh, otherwise you can select the particular window, or you can select the whiteboard if you want to uh, write something. Uh, otherwise, you can select this this option. This is uh, uh, iPhone. If you are using uh, iPhone, iPad, uh, using the technology called Apple AirPlay, you can uh, get your um, your mobile device connected, uh, mobile device screen shared. So if you want to show something in your mobile to the participants, uh, attendees, you can uh, make use of this option. So let me share this my web browser. Then you have to the, click on the share. Now uh, I have shared the web browser. Now uh, you can see on top there are um, uh, some control about this sharing. If you want to change the sharing, you can change by using the new sharing. Also, you can pause the sharing if you want to pause that if you are sharing some video or something moving or you can pause it, uh, uh, freeze it, uh, <coughs> otherwise and, and the remote control, I'm sorry, <coughs> on the remote control, you can allow uh, others to uh, uh, do some control. So you can select the participant here, you can allow him to uh, uh, change something or annotate or something or uh, access this window so, so also this annotation can be used to uh, <coughs> annotate something if you want to highlight something uh, you can select the color and you can highlight it something like that so if you want to draw something you can see the draw tool you can start drawing also if you want to type some test on top Uh, something like that you can do that <coughs> so that is how you can annotate you can uh, undo or you can redo all those options are there if you want to clear everything uh, clear my drawing i can clear it so that is how uh, screen sharing uh, let me stop so uh, then you can uh, find uh, now we can see 30, 38 uh, participants on this particular meeting uh, let me uh, let me show you uh, uh, on this recording options you can click on the record option on your Apple uh, uh, computer so uh, also uh, uh, other thing uh, I have to tell you uh, I was talking about some features like polling where you can post some questions and breakout room so if you want to use those uh, features you have to first uh, enable those features in your uh, in your profile so for that uh, you have to uh, uh, you have to uh, uh, visit your you visit your web portal let me try to do that uh, show you uh, in this web portal uh, you have to go to the settings so in that settings uh, you have to enable those features for example uh, uh, there are many features you can uh, switch uh, on and off uh, so you have to enable so you can enable chat you can enable waiting room you can enable uh, for example polling you can enable uh, uh, breakout room all those things has to be first enabled before you is, uh, use those uh, features uh, you have to visit to the uh, web portal go to the settings and uh, under setting you have to switch those features so once you switch those features those features will be available uh, on this uh, uh, down menu bar uh, let me try to <coughs> create the breakout room uh, you can just click on uh, breakout room 
uh, you can uh, either uh, decide whether you are going to assign uh, participants automatically maybe randomly or some some way to the groups or otherwise you have you can select manually so that you can manually uh, add uh, participants to the uh, uh, separate uh, room uh, we have 34 participants 35 participants uh, we will uh, we can decide number of rooms uh, we will seven rooms to be there now you can click on uh, if you select seven uh, you can get uh, five or four participants per room so let me uh, then you can create breakout room now uh, you can see uh, the breakout rooms automatically created uh, you can see the participant in each and every break, breakout room so uh, it's yet to open uh, uh, breakout room. I just created it. Uh, you can, if you want to change these participants here and there, exchange third party in the room, you can do it by using these options. Move to uh, another room, you can do it. Uh, you have some other options you can handle also. Uh, uh, if you change it, uh, you can regenerate the rooms or you can add uh, new rooms or everything. So once you uh, did that changes, you can. Uh, just click on open all rooms so so then uh, so we'll uh, open the rooms and now uh, you can see that uh, you have set into uh, different rooms uh, now you are in some group so you can discuss group can separately discuss so if you want to uh, join into the main room so you can leave the uh, group uh, uh, breakout room and come to the main uh, meeting if you like Otherwise, uh, I mean, uh, host can uh, uh, close the room uh, and get everybody into the main uh, meeting. Also, if you uh, uh, host want to join to any meetings, uh, he can join by click using uh, click on join button. So, if I click on this breakout room six, I will <coughs> join to six. So, I can uh, let I can come back to some other room. So, I can come back to the main room. So, that is how you can use uh, breakout rooms. Uh, let me close all the room. Now we should, should be uh, back in the main meeting. So it will take some time uh, soon to close all the background to our room and get people back to the meeting. It might take some time, so maybe less than a minute. So, okay, that is how uh, you can do the uh, breakout room. Mm. Let me uh, try to show you how uh, you can do polling. Uh, let me check whether I have enabled polling feature here. Yeah, I have enabled. Setting self Okay. Mm. I cannot see this uh, polling option here. Uh, let me disconnect this meeting. Uh, I will start the meeting in the same meeting ID. Uh, uh, It is uh, 633480. So, since I cannot see the polling options, uh, maybe uh, I have to restart the meeting. Let me leave this meeting. I will start the meeting again with the same, uh, same meeting ID. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to leave the uh, the way to uh, end the meeting is you can uh, click on the end meeting, uh, the red button. So you can decide uh, you are going to leave the meeting. Otherwise, uh, you can end the meeting uh, for all. So if you are the host, uh, 
the best thing is uh, if you are going to leave uh, end the meeting for your body so don't keep the meeting open so that might consume a lot of uh, resources so uh, let me end the meeting for all everybody so now everybody should be disconnected uh, now uh, uh, let me i have enabled the options uh, let me schedule the meeting again another meeting in this case i'll keep to my meeting required password i'm going to remove the required password uh, i'm going to use uh, uh, the meeting id so generate automatically or oh, i'm going to use personal meeting id in my case uh, I'm not going to, I cannot toss them because I have already, I have to sign out from this account and I have to sign the different account if you are going to host a meeting because I cannot host two meetings at the same time. Let me try my test account again. So, that, yeah, that, that is. Let me try with uh, that. Previous meeting can be still started. Yeah, now I can start that. Maybe that time is uh, busy time. Chime it. Let me close it. So actually, so at the moment, this this uh, situation, a lot of people are uh, using Zoom. Uh, Zoom is quite busy. Uh, uh, Zoom should have some time to scale out. We should give them, uh, we should be space and uh, some, for some time for them to scale out. So it is, uh, usage has just drastically uh, increased. So that is why time to time we are getting some busy. Uh, so we will also learn also try to scale out as much as possible in our on-premise uh, deployments. So uh, now I can uh, demonstrate uh, this. Uh, let me, uh, let me, see, I, I'm in a different meeting. I'm sorry, I have to share you the different meeting ID. I'm sorry, let me share it. That uh, is, uh, uh, one nine five, uh, Eight five six one nine five eight five six seven nine nine seven nine. This is my new meeting, new meeting ID. Nine five eight five six uh, seven nine nine. Right. Now your participants are coming up. I'm going to demonstrate what I'm going to demonstrate. Polling. Uh, let me uh, start with sharing something. Let me share the uh, my web browser for some, for example. My web browser. At the same time, now I am presenting something uh, on my test meeting. So let me uh, let me try to uh, demonstrate polling. That is how to set up a uh, quick questions. Uh, you can just click on polling, uh, then you will get this window. Uh, then you can add your question. Set of question. It can be one question. It can be set of questions. Uh, then uh, let me move a little bit away. Then uh, my Zoom uh, Zoom webinar test. Oh, this is not the question. This is something about my questions. Uh, <coughs> uh, then uh, let me type the question. Uh, do you like so? This is my simple question. So uh, you can select type the decide the answer. So it can be yes or no. That is multiple choice question. Uh, you can uh, decide whether it is multiple choice or it is single choice. In my case, it is going to be a single choice question. You have to say yes or no. So then you have to uh, 
save it. If you want to add another question, you can add it here. Otherwise, you can save it. Now, uh, I have set up my polling with one question. Now, I have to launch this to you. So, when I launch this question to you, uh, you will be see this question on your screen. The participant, all the participants will see this question on the screen. They can respond. They launch it. Now, the host can see the answers. Uh, everybody, it looks like, no, there are people who don't like this home. Maybe they have some other system. So they can share their views about Zoom, why they don't like, uh, uh, what other system they are using, and all those things, uh, you can pause it to us so that we can uh, do some sort of analysis why it is. Uh, is there some there are reason for you to uh, not not like so uh, out of uh, uh, out of uh, 42 participants uh, uh, 49 participants uh, 40, 44 44 people has answered this uh, question uh, out of two people two people don't like uh, the zoom i don't know it is by mistake or it's really don't like if they tell us why it is that is good for us and uh, good for us and they can send us a mail or they can uh, by some mean they can mention what the reason for they did they don't like Zoom. so uh, uh, the host the teacher uh, the teacher can see the result uh, uh, by using the poll so now i can end the poll uh, uh, if i finish the poll so i can end it uh, also when you end the poll uh, if you want to relaunch it you can relaunch let me try to uh, relaunch it uh, uh, let you all to answer it again uh, please answer the question again same question uh, so that uh, i can confirm whether everybody has correctly answered correctly click the button without any mistake in that now now i cannot see anyone who don't like so so anyway there can be reason people don't like so so they can share details so that we can see what are the issues with them uh, or with the system so that is good, uh, useful for us. So let me end the poll. So uh, once we end the poll, uh, the teacher or the host uh, of the meeting can share the result with the participants. Now you can see uh, because of I'm sharing my computer screen, but otherwise you won't be able to see this poll. Uh, uh, participants won't be able to see this. Uh, therefore, I have to share the result. If I share the result, everybody will get the result. So that's how uh, polling is working looking now you can stop sharing so that is how uh, polling work uh, let me close this window uh, then let me go into uh, stop sharing okay now uh, that is how polling uh, those are the basic uh, thing uh, what you can do with zoom so uh, the other thing is if you got the webinar pages webinar license you can have a webinar uh, some the same type of webinar that we have today uh, have a large participants uh, number of participants to your webinar so uh, uh, with that uh, i can conclude the sessions i think i have already mention everything what should i mention so so if you miss something so we will uh, make available this uh, video of my recording is successful if that is the case i can uh, publish this uh, video on the same uh, event page so uh, same event page in the website you can later look at the video so otherwise uh, also uh, you can get the documentation about how to uh, use Zoom, how to use uh, polling, if you forget it in that time. So how to use Zoom. Uh, uh, by using our event page. So we'll find this uh, uh, documentation, how to schedule meeting and everything. So also there are some, uh, more detailed documentation on if you look at these uh, institutional workshops on uh, facilitating digital conference website you can 
this workshop uh, file. On that URL, you can find all the documentation about the Zoom. Uh, it includes uh, things what I have not mentioned here today about Zoom rooms, uh, where you can have uh, video conferencing room, uh, having a special uh, hardware. Uh, recommended using some sort of recommended special, special hardware. Also, you have to have a Zoom room license if you are going to use Zoom room. Uh, which is quite expensive than uh, than the normal Zoom Pro accounts. Also, you can uh, mm, documentation for how to integrate uh, Zoom into your LMS. <coughs> uh, what he, what I have mentioned uh, missed uh, in this presentation is uh, in this documentation is uh, one thing is closed caption captioning. So you can try it. That is where you can do some sort of some sort of subtitling so if you are conducting the meeting or the lecture in uh, english uh, or, or if you want to someone to uh, give the subtitle in some other language uh, some type of things uh, or maybe you have to uh, do some sort of subtitling uh, you can use that using cross capture so this is about the zoom documentation where you can make use of it later uh, the personal meeting room, uh, uh, I have uh, talked a little bit uh, about that, uh, where you can quickly start using the personal meeting using the Zoom app. Uh, also, you can set up the personal meeting ID. So, when you set up the personal meeting ID, you have to have something familiar with maybe your phone number. People get in, uh, people get to know about that your colleagues can quickly connect into your personal meeting room when you want to have a personal meeting. So, that is about documentation so so about your uh, zoom room zoom uh, account uh, about your zoom room account uh, if you don't have a zoom room account uh, what you have to do is uh, you have to first look at uh, learn liaf learn access with uh, federation web website that is liaf.ic.lk this is the kind of information about the United Access Federation. Uh, you can see what are the services uh, also available uh, with this uh, Identity Access Federation. Also, you can look at, look at the list of uh, members, participants. If you click, uh, click on this uh, list of uh, participants, you will see uh, who are the institute who have, uh, who have already joined to learn 193 access federation if you are institute in this list <coughs> as mentioned early uh, your institutes in this list uh, you can get uh, username <coughs> credentials zoom accounts from your institute you have to talk to the uh, identity administ administrator so uh, you can uh, see the who, who is the person who is responsible in your institute uh, for this identity administration administration so you can talk to him and get a zoom account uh, uh, federated account once you get the zoom account uh, account from your institute uh, you can use that account for accessing many educational services not only zoom um, any other service offered later offered by the learn any other services available in the research education community uh, you can using your home credential you can use those services and that is uh, one of the uh, key features of uh, uh, identity access federation so here you can find the list of people uh, people in your institute uh, to get the account now the question is uh, there can be institute uh, there are quite a lot of institute uh, the few list a few of them are here so maybe more than 50 percent of uh, people yet to connect into the learn identity access federation so if that is the case in case uh, uh, in case of you so what you have to do is uh, you have to talk to your uh, institutional head, head head and discuss with him what uh, you can do so uh, if you are positive so you are not in the list uh, because you are not positive when we are when we are uh, trying to promote this one uh, previously we started the uh, identity as exploration maybe one and a half year ago uh, we conducted a lot of uh, activities uh, we conducted workshops how to do that uh, several workshops uh, we, uh, seminars all that uh, because uh, sometimes your people came into those uh, activities but uh, they didn't do that so that is why uh, you are not in the list but it is now time for you to get it done so uh, what you can do is you can talk discuss with your uh, top level people 
and have arrangement uh, uh, a person who can deal with learn we can assist learn can assist for you to do that and then uh, technical assistance center mr tilna patrana is willing to help you to set up your identity access management in your institute so uh, check the list if you are not in the list talk to the uh, relevant authorities and uh, try to set up uh, identity access database in your institute so we can support uh, so at this time so we can remote the support we want be able to come to your institute time to this uh, and uh, uh look out so maybe uh, we will be able to somehow coordinate uh, and do it remotely setting up uh, help you to set up identity access uh, uh, your identity access management so uh, if you want to uh, get this type of webinar or uh, some sort of online training again uh how to do that uh, we can arrange that as well make a request or if you have several request uh, so we can arrange the time maybe uh, <coughs> several hours two hours or three hours uh, will be now uh, online lecture how to uh, tell you how to set up and uh, right uh, with that uh, let me uh, uh conclude the session so there are a lot of questions uh, i don't think i can answer to all those things but you can send me the mail so i have displayed my mail and this uh, we will try to uh, answer all, all the questions uh, offline uh so anyway so keep in what you have to keep in mind uh, uh you have first thing is uh, you should get your zoom account uh, once you get the zoom account uh, Uh, you should make use make use of it. Also, when you are going to make make use of it, there can be situation where you will get trouble. Something like system is busy. Uh, sometime, uh, uh, sometime it may be disconnected or something. That type of that type of things can be happen. Reason because of the uh, usage has gone drastically. So it is uh, no one can. no one can told that happen so it is gone drastically so uh, we might need some time also zoom zoom need some time for uh, for them to uh, scale out the system so during the time we can uh, zoom can scale out the system so can uh, so the uh, demand can be accommodated so until that you will experience uh, some little difficulties uh, is uh, be patient until system is scale up but you can start the other thing is uh, i have noticed uh, during last few weeks i have noticed that most of the meeting happening during the day time especially in the morning session so that is the busy time even i have scheduled this uh, webinar in the morning so so the best uh, so because of that reason so i might suggest for you if you are going to have a lecture so it can be scheduled any time so it can be in evening it can be in the afternoon or maybe midnight so it is possible but even the morning is time the beautiful time between 8 and 12 is quite busy time so please try to avoid the, if you are going to schedule a meeting or lecture please avoid try to avoid that time uh, so that you can have a better uh, seamless uh, service Uh, you can say do this afternoon or you can have, a, have it in holiday so this is anyway you know, working from home people can join at any time so people don't have to do anything so no purpose you know, all around so, so that time is not a problem uh, as far as i guess so it can be scheduled in a free time so that is uh, the night time and the holidays afternoons will be the good time for a meeting or a lecture so uh, with that uh, let me uh, wind up session and thank you for participating in this webinar if you have any problem you can send us a mail uh, you can send us a mail so you can get our contact details from learn website you can send it to me or you can send it to tilina or you can send it to lalanta uh, they will uh, Uh, myself i uh, will try to answer all those questions if you get any problem using zoom also you can so uh, share those difficulties we will try to fix it uh, as much as we can do so 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 with that uh, let me thank you all for joining this meeting thank you very much